Well, she represented the state of Iowa at the national competition in Orlando, Florida this month, and she has a message tonight for anyone looking to try a new sport. You'll meet this Sioux City Special Olympian in this week's Siouxland Story. Abigail Quirk started running in high school, and she hasn't stopped since. But to appreciate how far she's come, it helps to know that she entered the world with the odds stacked against her, developing her fighting spirit as an infant. She went into heart failure when she was um, four months old, and uh, we didn't know right away what was going on. They, they knew when she was born that she had a couple holes in her heart, but they felt like they were going to repair themselves, and then uh, she ended up here in the hospital on the ventilator for a week, and then they ended up having to airlift her to Omaha. They didn't expect her to make it from here to Omaha in the helicopter. Mom is a beautiful mom. She, I love her because she fed me uh, a bottle with her. She hold me. But she made it through two heart surgeries and multiple throat surgeries, getting stronger day by day, year after year. Training and running more because eh, I didn't work out again. I did push-ups and I did that um, I bike a little bit. Becoming skilled in Taekwondo, running, and shot put, which brings us to the Special Olympics. Abigail qualified to compete in multiple events on the national stage. Taekwondo, then I push off and step to it. And easy. I like to run. My favorite is Atlanta running. A race she medaled in during the Special Olympics down in Orlando, Florida, June 6th through the 10th, earning 6th place in the 200 dash, 5th in the 100, and 4th in shot put. It was such a cool opportunity to go down there and watch the kids get their medals. They were all so excited. From Iowa, Abigail Serbe. <laughs> oh, to go from not knowing if she was going to live at four months old and not knowing what to expect her life would be like. To see her being able to be a normal kid, you know, and participate in all of the normal things is, is really great. And it, it's, it's refreshing. Um, I know times have changed a lot since when I was in high school and um, how kids that have special needs are treated. And I'm really thankful for that and grateful that it has because she has lots and lots of opportunities. An opportunity that Ann says was made possible in part by the support of the Siouxland community. I'm really grateful. There were several places here in town that donated money for the kids to be able to go. And upon their return home, Sioux City leaders giving the athletes another chance to shine. And if you're watching this at home and want to get involved. Volunteers are always are always helpful, unified partners and and athletes are are wonderful. And we have all kinds of things going on all year long. So if you would like to get involved, I would highly encourage that they look up Sioux City Nights and um, come to one of the meetings, come to a practice, meet some parents, see what it's about. And if you would like to get involved, we provided contact information on our website right now at the address there at the bottom of your screen, SiouxlandProud.com.